Hi there. We are going to simplify rational expressions. That is, we're going to reduce them. Break them down. Factor, factor, cancel, cancel. For instance, what about 18z to the 6 over 2z? Piece of cake. 2 goes into 18 9 times, so we'll have 9. Z to the 6 minus 1, because these are like bases. When you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents. So our answer here is going to be 9z to the 5th power. Okay, how about p plus 7 times p minus 7 over p plus 7 squared? Well, this is p to the 1, and this is p to the 2. However, why make life hard on ourselves? How about p plus 7 times p minus 7 over what this is? p plus 7 times p plus 7. The p plus 7 cancels the p plus 7, and we are left with p minus 7 over p plus 7. Not too hard. Okay, what have we got now? 7y minus 35 over 6y minus 30. How do we cancel? Factor, factor, cancel, cancel. That's got to be our little mantra for this entire module. Factor, factor, cancel, cancel. Okay. I'm going to factor the top by GCF and the bottom by GCF. That will give me 7 times y minus 5 over 6 times y minus 5. The y minus 5s are identical. Therefore, they will cancel leaving me with 7 sixths. Now what? t squared minus u squared over t plus u. Factor, factor, cancel, cancel. This is the difference of two squares. So this will factor into t plus u times t minus u. All that over t plus u. Now the t plus u and the t plus u cancel, leaving me with t minus u. Okay, now we've got 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 over 3x minus 4. Factor, factor, cancel, cancel. Let's look at 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. You can do this on your calculator using the y1, y2 method, or the ac method, whatever you would like to call it. I'm going to do this by hand, just for those of you who wonder how to do it the old-fashioned way. 3 times 8 equals 24. 24 breaks down into 4 times 6. 
but it also breaks down into negative 4 times negative 6. But negative 4 plus negative 6 equals negative 10. So I know that negative 4 and negative 6 are the two factors that I want to be able to factor 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. So here we go. 3x squared minus 6x minus 4x plus 8. So 3x squared minus 6x plus negative 4x plus 8 will factor into 3x times x minus 2 plus negative 4. Remember that when the leading term of a polynomial is negative and you're factoring out a GCF, it always has to be a negative GCF. So our factorization is going to be x minus 2 times 3x minus 4. Now, I'll go back to the original fraction and I will rewrite it. x minus 2 times 3x minus 4 over 3x minus 4. The 3x minus 4's cancel, leaving me with x minus 2. Now what do we have? s cubed plus 125 over s plus 5. You're going to factor this by the sum of two cubes. s cubed plus 5 cubed over s plus 5. And that will be s plus 5 over s squared minus 5s plus 5 squared, which is 25, over s plus 5. The s plus 5's cancel, leaving us with s squared minus 5s plus 25. This is a to the third plus 27 over a squared minus 9. Whoa, we're going to have two different kinds of factoring going on here. We're going to have a to the third plus 3 to the third over the difference of two squares, a plus 3 times a minus 3. So we're going to have a plus 3 times a squared minus 3a plus 3 squared, which is 9, over a plus 3 times a minus 3. The a plus 3's will cancel leaving me with a squared minus 3a plus 9 over a minus 3. So we're going to have now 4 minus z over z minus 4. 
This is a trick problem. I do not like this kind of problem, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. I am going to multiply this by 1. But 1 can, can take on many forms. In this case, I'm going to say negative 1 over negative 1. You're going to see why in a minute. For minus z over z minus 4. Now, I am going to leave this minus 1 where it is. Well, actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take negative 1 and multiply it by 4 minus z. And I'm going to take negative 1 and multiply it by z minus 4. Only this is what I'm going to do, which may seem a little bit backwards, but bear with me. I'm going to actually distribute this negative 1, which doesn't really look like much of a negative 1 anymore. I'm going to take this negative 1 and distribute it into the parentheses so that I'll have negative 1 times 4 minus z over negative z plus 4. But negative z plus 4 is just 4 minus z. Negative z plus 4 is the same exact thing as 4 minus z. This is a little bit of math magic. Now, this 4 minus z will cancel this 4 minus z, leaving us with negative 1. So something you should try to remember is that whenever you have something like this, 4 minus z over z minus 4, Notice that your first and last terms are, are switched around here, and both of them are minuses, that this is going to equal negative 1. Always. All right, we're going to have z squared minus 81 over 9 minus z. We're going to have the same kind of problem here. z squared minus 81 factors by the difference of two squares. You're going to have z plus 9 times z minus 9 over 9 minus z. Now look at this. That's the same kind of setup we had in the previous problem. z minus 9 over 9 minus z. That's negative 1. This equals negative 1. So what we're going to have is z plus 9 times negative 1 And if we distribute that negative 1 in here and here, we'll have negative z minus 9. Perfect.